Presenting your ideas, products, or services to a new audience is difficult, especially during a sales conversation. That's because most people hate sales, plus people's attention span is getting shorter. They want to know quickly if what you have is worth their time and money. So if you're not sure how to present your ideas and solutions to a new audience, well, you're not alone. Now, the good news is you can do something about it. You can model a simple and effective presentation file, and that file is called a pitch deck. Now, a pitch deck is an action-oriented presentation. It gives your audience a quick overview of your ideas, products, or services. The word pitch means sales-oriented message, and the word deck means presentation slides, usually created by tools like PowerPoint or similar software. But instead of talking about yourself, you'll present the information from your audience's perspective. Now, pitch decks are not new, but they are becoming more popular. That's because the pitch deck framework is simple, but very effective at the same time. It helps you present your ideas and solutions in a logical order that's meaningful to your audience. Most projects, sales, or business leaders that need more leads, sales, or financing use some variations of this presentation framework. So part one helps you explain the need for your ideas or solutions. You'll help your audience understand what problem you can solve for them and how you propose to solve it. Your objective here is to help your audience self-identify if what you have is relevant to their needs. Part two helps you validate your ideas and solutions. This is your chance to establish credibility and prove that you can get the job done. So instead of wasting time wondering what to write or share, you'll focus on answering the most common questions and objections people have before they even ask. And part three helps you explain your goals and guide your audience to a clear call to action. Because before you ask people to join you on your project or business journey, you need to let them know where you're going. This is where you share your goals and invite your audience to take the next step. Now the next step can be any action like book a call or interview, register now, buy now, invest now, join our team, become a sponsor or affiliate, or really any other action that can help you build that relationship with your audience. Now the good news is you can repurpose the same slides for other presentations that can help you build more credibility because your pitch deck sets the tone and foundation for your marketing communication, business proposals, sales presentations, and and website content. So really knowing how to create, analyze, and update a pitch deck is one of the most important skills you can learn as a business or project leader. So before you invest any time and money in marketing or advertising, you'll need to get your pitch deck done. Now, after working on hundreds of pitch decks over the past 20 years and helping my clients generate over $500 million in funding and sales, I got hands-on experience creating effective pitch decks that build instant brand credibility and drive action. I also learned how to create slide variations to fit different audiences. That's because your pitch deck story needs to make sense to three three different audiences, not one. First, you have investor communication, and that includes messaging for people who can fund your project. That can include internal budget approval or outside funding from investors, lending institutions, government or nonprofit organizations. Investors want to know that if they give you money, can you get the job done? They also want to know that if your ideas and solutions can deliver a return on investment. Next, you have market communication that includes messaging for potential clients, customers, affiliates, sponsors, vendors, and suppliers. Your market wants to know if your solutions are worth their time and money. And last but not least, you have internal communication, and that includes messaging for full-time or part-time teams. Now, your teams want to know your vision and goals so they can help you bring your vision into reality. And many people get stuck on creating the investor or market conversation, but the reality is you need all three because they're all connected. You need funding, you need sales, and you need a team to help you get the job done. So if you're still watching, then you understand the benefits of the pitch deck, and you already know that creating a sales-oriented presentation is not easy. And that's why I created this video training series to show you the strategy behind the pitch deck framework and some of the background elements that can impact your pitch deck story. And to help you out, I've also included an interactive 
workbook that helps you brainstorm your ideas as you're watching the videos. Or if you're ready to get started right away, you can also pick some of the templates from the template store and you can start plotting down your pitch deck as you're watching the videos at the same time. So here's your chance to get your pitch deck done. Once you master this presentation framework, you'll find it much easier to create other presentations and help others do the same. Because most people hate sales and have a fear of public speaking. So your ability to present your ideas and solutions quickly can help you stand out. So are you ready to create your pitch deck? Then go ahead and let's get started on the next video.